In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to generate data URI in Microsoft Power Automate. Now, there are three techniques which I'll be using to generate data URI. First is using OneDrive. Second is using external utilities. Third is using command line. Now, this all will work in tandem with Microsoft Power Automate and the data URI which we generate. Now, in order to test this, we will be rendering that in an Outlook uh, email. Now, just to give you a background of how the image is rendered using HTML is, uh, as you see over here, the first one is a very simple thing. Like if you are hosting your file within your web server, then you can use this reference. If you are making use of your local machine to host the file, then you can use this reference. If you are uh, referencing a file within the website, then you can use this reference. But what if this three method doesn't work for you and you want that image to be uh, rendered as a hard-coded value, you do not have a place to store, then you can make use of this syntax. Now, the first syntax is for JPEG, second is for PNG, and it is not necessarily related or uh, to an image file. It can be for any file type. Now, in order to generate this particular string, this entire string, you need to make use of various technologies. The so first one, we will be making use of OneDrive. Second, we will be making use of external utilities. And the third one, we'll be using a command line. Okay, so let's start. First one, we're using OneDrive. So, I'm in make.powerautomate.com, go to my flows, new flow, create a flow, instant cloud flow. And I'll just name this as three ways. I'll go to the old designer. And the first method which we are going to try out is using OneDrive. So you just type in OneDrive and OneDrive for Business. Now, with OneDrive for Business, we will be making use of uh, a an action called as Get File Content. Get File Content. Now, before we even go build this, let's go to OneDrive and upload the file. So I'll show you. I have already uploaded the file ahead of time. So this is my OneDrive, and if I go to my files, I have this file called as DataVerse.png. Now, this file I have also uploaded in my C drive as well. So if you see, this is how the file will look like. And this is how we will be receiving this file in an email. Right. So file is uploaded in OneDrive. I have used the content, get file content. What I'm going to do, I'll just select the file. I'll select the root. And then in the root, I have this dataverse.png file. I'll make the selection. Now, the next step, what I'm going to do, I'll make use of a compose action. And within that compose action, what I'm going to do, I'll refer in, as an expression, I'll call a method called as data URI. And in this data URI, it will uh, ask for some uh, input. So let me go to the expression again and show it to you data URI. And with this opening and closing bracket, we need to give the value, right? So that value is basically coming from the get file content. So if you see here, it is getting the file content from here. And I'll click on OK. I'll click on Save. So we'll not use email as of now. I just want to show you how the output will look like. So this is the goal. We need to generate this data URI. So I'll click on Test Manual. And run the flow. So the goal is to generate that data URI syntax. So if you see the compose action, this is what the output is generated. So I'll just copy this entire thing and I'll put it in a notepad. So this is how the uh, image representation of that file looks like. So this is the syntax is colon data colon image slash PNG semicolon base 64 and like this. So let me unzoom it and show it to you. This is how the image will look like. Okay, so it's a big uh, text. Uh, and yeah, looks good to me. What we are going to do, we are going to use the syntax, this one. We have already got this part, imgsrc equal to this part. So we'll just append this imgsrc equal to. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me copy this first 
and close this click on edit new step send email send an email p2 outlook send it to myself skirish subject three ways so we are learning three ways of embedding an image now here send an email v2 click on this code view so that you get an html view out of it and from here you just type in img src equal to and uh, you take the reference of that uh, compose action output so here what we are going to do we will be using the expression we'll be using the expression and from here oh, sorry we'll be using the dynamic content and dynamic content will be using this output and this output and i'll just put slash and this okay and click on save now let's see what happens whether it renders or not we will just see in a moment because i i just want to show you different uh, gotchas when you start implementing these kind of functionality so i'll click on test click on run it flow and let's see the output yes so it has come and if you see the output is not there you can't see this okay let me delete this one so this is how it looks like okay what is the mistake we made i think so what we have done is uh we haven't put that double quotes img src equal to so we need to fix that so i'll go here and i'll put a single quotes or double quotes whatever you prefer and save this test test run the flow done let's see now now the image is rendered so we have successfully rendered an image using data uri this image is stored in onedrive we have extracted the data uri component using the data uri method available in power automate and then rendered this image so this is the this was the first way of implementation okay and the file was stored in onedrive now let's use external utilities to uh, generate that string okay now the second method which we are going to see now is uh, there are various third party tools if you see here this is a base64 image then there is a base64 encode and then there is a base64.guru now let me make use of this file so what i'm going to do i'm going to select this and send out this file dataverse.png and it will generate it will encode this and it will show you the code so this is the code looks like if i'll say copy to clipboard and now i'm gonna paste it over here so if you see this code over here it has generated that encoded image now what we need to do we need to make use of this to generate that code so i'll use img src equal to in double quotes i'll delete this line and at the end i need to put a double quote so you need to be very precise with this end the slash and then angle bracket so just copy this now go to your power automate flow so this was the first method which you used so let me click on edit so this is the first method which you use and now i'm gonna put a a horizontal rule and i'll say second method so now we are using the second method what we have done we have generated this image using a third party utility i'll copy this to the clipboard go to your flow in the second method we need to write a tag img src equal to single quotes and paste and at the end you just need to put a single quotes close the img tag so just scroll down so it's a long string you just put a single quotes slash and then close it down and now click on save let's test this
run the flow. Done. So I have received an email. The, the first one, this image is from the first method and the second image is from the second method. So we have these two images generated. Now, what is the third method to generate the image? Now we, we have made use of OneDrive. We have made use of third party utility. Now the third one, which we are going to see is using a command line utility. Now using the command line utility. So if you go over here uh, in the command prompt, uh, run it as an administrator, you will find a uh, command called as cert util. Now insert util, what you need to do, cert util dash encode, okay? And the file you need to store somewhere in your hard drive. So I stored it in cdwls.png. So I'm in that folder. So I need not specify the path. I'll just say dwls.png. And I want to store this uh, output. So output is basically I will use as dwls dot say maybe txt, okay? And it will say input length is 48615, output length is 66902, and this is how the command is completed successfully. Now, cert util utility is basically used to generate certificates. Now, we can also use it to generate the uh, encoding value of a specific file, and in our case, the specific file is PNG. Now, as you see over here, it has generated dataverse.txt. Let's go into the C drive, and you will find the file over here. Copy this file, and here you will see begin certificate and if you scroll down you'll see end certificate now we don't want begin certificate and end certificate so i'll just remove this and i'll go at the top and i'll remove this begin certificate so this is that encoded value of that image okay so for that what you need to do you need to copy this okay so i'll just remove all this text after this i'll copy this now you know that it is just an uh, encoded value. So here, remember the first time when I showed it to you, here, uh, this is just this dot, dot, dot value. So we need to build this entire string, okay? So in order to build that entire string, let's go into Power Automate and uh, go into the flow, click on send an email, click on edit. And now let's go to the third method. So third method. And maybe this is sort of okay. So the tag which we are going to use is img src equal to and in single quotes, let's say data colon png. Now, if you see this one note over here, it says img is equal to data data colon. Oh, sorry, image slash png uh, is what we need to put. So what I'm going to do, I can directly copy from here as well till the comma. So there is a comma as well. Okay. So if you, if I'll just paste this over here, this is how the uh, format looks like. IMG SRC is double quotes or single quotes, data colon image slash PNG semicolon base 64 comma. And then this value, this one, this entire thing. Now be sure that you don't copy all the blank spaces along with it. So you need to be very precise, just copy this and paste it over here now once you're done with it again the same thing put a double quotes close the tag and slash that's it so this is the third method to generate an image let's see whether this runs or not because sometimes if you introduce an accidental space or a break character then it may not work so you may need to do some uh, couple of iterations to ensure that this runs in the first instance correctly so i've run this flow and now if i see the email uh, the mail the mail has come the first one from the first method second from the second method and the third one is successfully generated using the third method so just to summarize what we have done we have made use of the data uri to generate an image the first method was the image was stored in the one drive so we have directly made use of OneDrive connector, the file content extracted, and then it generated the data URI. In second one, the second method, we have made use of third-party utility to generate that syntax and then rendered it an email. 
third one, if you do not have a reference to the third party utility or maybe you do not want to use one drive for file storage, you can store it in your local drive and then make use of command line cert util. So cert util will generate the encoded image of that file. And then once that encoded image is generated, you just make use of that in Microsoft Power Automate. So these are the three different ways to generate an inline image in uh, Microsoft Outlook or maybe any other uh, application as well using the data URI syntax. Thanks for watching.